guys, it's Duchess Pink Bunny and I'm here for an unboxing video. So it's been a while since I've made a video and most of them are pretty much backlogs of all the vlogs that I've done while traveling in Paris. Some of them are video games that I've done recently such as Gris, Kingdom Hearts 3, and most recently Final Fantasy 7 the remake. Um, I'm still in the process of editing all those videos but today I just wanted to do an unboxing video because it's something that I rarely ever do. And as a new streamer, I do have a few things to show off today, and I'm really proud to actually get my collection started on peripherals. Um, the first thing I have today, I want to say I've got the Razer Keo webcam, which is this item right here. You're not going to see the inside of it because I'm actually filming with it right now, and that's what we're using. It's a lot better quality than the laptop camera that I own. So... Basically, it's just the basic Razer product with their manual, a sticker with the brand logo on it. I don't really like snakes, but for some reason, I really like Razer. They just do really good marketing. And of course, you have an empty box because, of course, I'm filming on this right now. So that's it for that one. The next item that I have is something that I bought last week. So this is not just going to be an unboxing video. Um, last week... Last week I bought the Harry Potter Bo Batten's Lego collection or set and I've actually wanted this for a while because I do like Fleur Delacour. She is one of my cosplays and I've actually cosplayed her in Paris. So you know what better way to celebrate that fandom than by buying this. So I think it's really awesome. We're going to do a build video after I'm done like unboxing everything. I'm not going to open this quite yet because I've got a few more things to show you guys. The next thing that I want to show is um, something that I got in the mail today. I got this package in the mail today and for some reason I didn't realize what FedEx was telling me when they were like, oh you have a package coming in from Anaheim and at this point I'm like, I don't even know what I ordered. But because um, there's like a few things that you know we were doing during coronavirus and that a lot of that is online ordering. I do have a shipment that I'm waiting on from Italy and I don't even know if it's shipped yet because there's no tracking information. This is actually really local and I'm <laughs> I did this because Anime Expo has its list of exhibitors that were um, selling items and the one that I shopped from was Bluefin and there are actually a few more exhibitors that I do want to purchase from. So this is actually yeah oh wow they gave me a catalog um, I did not shop for this, I swear. And uh, shipment confirmation. Another catalog. I don't know what's in it because I'll look through it sometime, just not today. Actually, no. It's all Dragon Ball Z, Godzilla, some uh, figu arts. Oh my god, they have Spike from Cowboy Bebop here. If they had Faye, I would totally get that. And I do have like, oh, oh, they have a female figure. I want to get one of those drawing figures for females for manga. Technically, I have one from Sideshow Collectibles that I bought earlier this month. Um, I'm not too big of a fan of it just because she looks kind of scary and has a face on her. Rather, the body coon ones have no face. This is all Dragon Ball. I'm like not into that. And I know that's a blasphemy because I'm a 90s kid and I have watched this series growing up. But because it's geared toward boys, this is really not my thing. So, getting that out of the way. Some packing paper. What the hell is this? Oh, this is... This is, I think, a free... Oh, you can actually see what this is. It says Proplica. Um, I got a few Sailor Moon things. Why does this look like I have so many more things? Oh, because they gave me free items. Okay. So, this is the transformation brooch and disguise pen set um i do have a princess serenity cosplay i've never made a sailor moon one and even though i always say i do i just have never gotten around to it because while i have a degree in fashion sewing is not my forte it takes so much time and effort and i'm actually really shit at pattern drafting even though i know how to do it just i don't have like that model figure so that's kind of one of the reasons i don't really do anything <laughs> I already have the, what was it called, the cutie moon rod that Proplica made, 
and before that I had the Bandai one from back in the early 2000s that I bought. I no longer own that because of stupid reasons. I didn't keep it. But um, I'm rebuilding that collection since I am cosplaying. I really wanted this thing and, you know, the other items that I'm about to show you. And I'm not even going to be careful with this. So we do have the transformation pen and the brooch. Oh my god, this is going to be really cool for cosplaying. Oh my god, I'm super excited. And I have to cut open more tape, sticker tape. Ah, okay, I swear I have like an exacto knife somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna like do this because this is how we open packages at my job when I'm not having a box cutter. Ooh, I think I forgot to put that one back. Shit. Oh well. <laughs> I forgot to put back the box cutter that I borrowed from the front or from the stock room. And and it's already been week. This has tape on it somewhere again. Does it? No. Oh. Why is it so hard to open? Okay, so it does have a stand like the previous one that I got. Let me move this over. Alright. <laughs> okay. Big question. How am I going to attach this to my cosplay if I ever do the bow? This is not like right. Okay. I, I don't know. I think I might do like industrial Velcro strips against the bow and back here. But, you know, it's nice. I don't like ruining new things. Uh, I want to see if it opens up. This does open up, right? There's a button like right here. Or does... What does this do? I feel like it's supposed to do something musical, possibly. It does it, I don't even know. There go some stand parts. Um. Um. What? <laughs> I'm assuming this is for the thingy, but I don't. What the heck is that? I don't know. Okay, so you have the brooch. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if this opens if, or. If, uh, um, God, I'm be so curious about this because there's like, there's parts on either side that I could open. Oh, we're getting somewhere, I think. Goodness gracious, what do you do with this? I'm like really struggling. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to break this, but I, ugh. I'm, I'm going to Google on what to do with that later. So let's show the actual disguise pen. Now, I know Jeffree Star came out with some kind of makeup that looks very similar to this wand. And I was going to buy it, but I don't really shop Jeffree Star makeup. And now I actually have the real deal. So this is going to be really cool to use. Um, I don't know if I can make like a quick change costume out of this, but... Oh my god, is this an actual pen? There's like, oh my god. <gasps> it's an actual pen. You can like write with this. That's so funny. I just have to remove this thingy right here. How do you like, if it runs out. Oh, you twist it. But like, how do you remove the barrel when you're done with it? It's really short. It's not like a regular pen. Oh, so you do like this, you twist it, and it goes like that. Oh! There is a button here to do something. Okay, I feel like I have to add batteries to these items, because I think I did the same with my Cutie Moon Rod, and it did not come with batteries. Where are the freaking instructions? Honestly, I can't read Japanese, but let me put this back on before I lose it. Okay, so this is that set together, and I am ready to cosplay, or actually make my costumes hopefully soon. 
Um, it does come with a stand. I am not going to set that up right now because I simply can't figure out what the hell I'm doing. So that was that package. So we're going to look at the next one. I'm pretty excited for all of these. Um, so basically this is my Anime Expo light purchase as we do not have Anime Expo this year. I believe it's, oh, it's January, no, January. It is July 1st and Wednesday. Right about this time of the year, I would be checking into my hotel at the Omni. Sadly, that's not possible because of what's not going on. I don't need to worry about those. Because of coronavirus, of course, AX is canceled, Comic Con is canceled. Nobody's going anywhere. Twinkle Dolly, Sailor Moon 4. This is one of my. Oh, shit. This is one of my free packages, and normally. It's so odd because this, I can tell, is one of those gacha, gacha pawn, gacha gages. And I think this comes with 10 pieces based on what the label says. And only, I'm only saying this because there are perforated lines right here. You can tell it's going to be a display stand. Oh my god. I thought I was just going to get like one pack of these and, or no, just one item of this. And now it's the entire package. Oh my god. Oh, that's exciting. It really does come with 10 of them. Now I have to unbox every single one of them. Oh shit, this is going to be a little longer than I thought. Okay. These are all... Oh no, they're not. Okay, so they're not mystery packages. They show you what they are. So first up is Chibi Moon. Um, next is... Sailor V. I have to make sure that this is looking correct on the camera. So that's why I'm looking off to my computer screen. Ooh! My fave girl, Neo Queen Serenity. I have her Funko Pop set along with Kibiosa and King Endymion. And that was really cute. Another Sailor V, so I guess I'm going to probably sell this off. So these are technically random. Another Neo Queen Serenity. Okay. Terror or Pegasus? What is the difference between the two? Because I know we had... Okay, there's one from the Super S movie, and then this is... This is probably... Pegasus, no. It's Helios. Helios. It's been a long time since I've watched this series. I'm not... I'm not caught up with this. Okay, and I guess this is lineup number five, so I guess this is, like, all the same thing. So that means we have Sailor Moon. Oh my goodness, I can't line that up nicely. Sorry about my lighting. Another Helios. And another Sailor Moon. And oh, we have one Chibi Usa. That is interesting. I'm going to group these together so that I don't get confused. But I guess I'm going to sell a few of these off because uh, it was free. I don't really need like a billion copies of the same thing. Two, two, I think it's just two of everybody. Two Sailor Venus. And then two Neo Queen Serenity. Yeah, I'm gonna sell five of these because I don't need two of the same thing. But that was really cool for like a free gift. I didn't realize that I was going to get that. Um, one more bonus item before I get to the next one. More gacha charms. I, okay, Bluefin, I see you. Thanks for the uh, prizes. This is cool. I'm going to ruin this box. Also comes with 10 pieces, all lined up like this, and that means I'm going to just <laughs> make that easier. All right. Okay, I see you. So these are charms of the transformation ones. So we have this one, which actually is the next item that I'm bringing up. I bought this this one in the full form. Um, the brooch, which I just showed. Um, the brooch, which I just showed you guys. Cutie Moonrod, which is not going to be featured in this video because it's in storage. 
the crystal star compact which i really really wanted never got around to buying it and it was not on the website anymore for publica transformation pen you guys can't see that very well um i don't even know what this is called but it's it's chibi usa's thingy perky more of the transformation brooches and more of the same all right so i'm gonna repackage that one real quick before we get to opening the actual moon stick yeah that's not a surprise anymore since i opened this oh my goodness cool cool wondering how much those retail on ebay for or etsy all right last one from the large box this is like i said the moon stick um my friend stacy got this a few years ago and her then boyfriend now husband bought it for her i believe and i always wanted to get one of these i just never got around to it until now and because it was I mean, I don't think it got any cheaper. I probably paid more for it just now than when it initially was. Um, yeah, we'll leave that there. I just wanted to get this because if I didn't, it was going to get sold out eventually and I'd never get it. Just like the Crystal Star Compact. And I still want to get that one someday because that one is probably my favorite one because it's pink. Okay. And then you guys have probably seen this before in other people's videos this is the back of the box i guess it shows you everything that it does um it probably also lights up this one i'll it's probably gonna be brought to conventions with me because uh that's what you do with cosplays i just don't want to be accused of stealing it when i only bought it i don't think anybody's gonna like think i stole it at con my mom was asking what i got in this box and i'm like it's sailor moon toys and she just like glared at me because she's so filipino and she doesn't like that i buy things oh shit this is supposed to go back in the other box I mean, come on, it's Salem and cosplay toys. I cosplay Princess Serenity, so why the hell not? I don't even know where this goes, so we're just gonna stick it in there. And honestly, this is just my Anime Expo purchase of the year because since we're going, I still wanna get a souvenir, and if I don't get a souvenir, I'm probably just gonna buy more Funko Pops because I have a huge collection of those. So let's get this one open. Okay. Moon stick, support stand, silver crystal display stand. Ooh, I really like that. Um, the base and the silver crystal base. Turning the moon stick on and switching modes. I mean, yeah. This is the one from season one. And in terms of fandom, oh shoot, there's two layers to this. In terms of the fandom, I am very much a fan of the 90s Deke version. One, because I speak English, and two, that's what we grew up with. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of the redub or Sailor Moon Crystal, but I will still watch Crystal at least. I've not really watched the new dub for the original version. Sorry, guys. Although I have met Robbie Damon, not met. I've seen him in passing. Alright, this is the moment of truth from my childhood. I never got the Bandai version of this. Um, largely because I don't really buy a lot of toys. Or I didn't buy a lot of toys back then. How does one eject this? Okay, there's gotta be a way you stick this on because you have this part, this circle part. What the hell? Oh, okay, okay. So you squeeze these two things, there's holes under here, to pop it off. And you clip this on like a light bulb. So that's really cool. 
Now, um, I actually have attempted to form a moon stick. Well, not me, but my cousin. My cousin did because she is more of a crafter than I am in terms of making clay. And we did try to make this out of Sculpey before, and it was around the time that this got released. It's just I didn't buy the original. And the one that we had for this was not very long lasting. Um, I think it's probably in storage now, unless I tossed it out. But Sculpey and um, I think, what the heck did we use for it? A wood dowel and baking it and <laughs> using a sort of doorknob in there as well. That's what we did. Okay, let's get this back in there. Um, this doesn't have batteries in it because I have to add them in. I don't have any free batteries at the moment. But uh, yeah, in the name of the moon, I am going to punish you. <laughs> wow, that is that sounds so boring. I'm sorry, you guys. Honestly, I probably have about the same amount of personality that Kristen Stewart does in Twilight. That's not to say she doesn't have personality. She's a good actress when you take her away from the Twilight movies. Now, back to topic. This is the Crystal Star Compact, so I'm like, do you just plug this in right here? Or can you take this out of the base? Oh, bro, I don't want to break this, but there is, there's got to be a way to take this off the gold base and stick it on here because otherwise there's like not really a reason to do that. I don't want to break it. Yeah, you just pop it off. Okay. That's fine and dandy. And then you plug it in like so. And you have the Imperium Silver Crystal in long form, which is cool. I can do this. Honestly, doesn't click in place, or it just didn't. Do you like twist it to lock it in, dude? You could lose this as a cosplay prop easily. Not risking it. This part lights up. Put that right there. This back right here. Stand. Same as the previous item. I'm not gonna build it right now. Just cover for you. What else do I have? I have one more thing to show you guys, and then I will end this video. And it's not going to be ended. We're just going to move on to the next phase. We're going to do Lego building. kind of weird. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so for the last part of this first part of the video, or the last part I have for this, for the last part I have for this half of the video, I have an Elgato capture card. Um, because I'm not big on streaming, I was kind of discouraged not to, or discouraged not to buy this like right away. But I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna spend my money right away, I don't want to have like two capture cards and just get the real deal first. Um, last October, I built myself a gaming PC, and or I didn't buy it. I didn't build it for myself. I had friends build it for me. Thank you, Dex and Wilson. 
Um, it works great and I cannot wait to be streaming with this. This is the last thing I needed from my card. And I didn't know if I was going to get the one that you plug into the motherboard, but then again, I don't trust myself with that. So we're going to go with this one. I'm going to have to figure out how I can use my uh, PS2 for it, but I know that I can do PS3. And I'm also going to be learning how to do Streamlabs. So this one just looks like a uh, rounded rectangle of a thing. I don't know what components go into it, but... Because I already do some video game, like very light video game streaming, just whatever is built in with the PS4 and the Twitch feature, and even though I have a YouTube channel, that's where all my vlogs go, um, I've just been using the built-in function for that, and it just really annoys me because it shrinks down the gaming window that I have, and you see a chat box on the side. I don't want to deal with that, so I'd rather have the chat box overlay with um, my game. Okay, so it comes with this thingy. It's, it's a box in a box. And oh my god, that is smaller than I thought it would be. Okay. We have the capture card itself and a wire, which I can only assume is HDMI. Eight, two wires, okay. This is HDMI. And this is USB and USB-C. I don't have anything that would go with this. Hmm. And it has a sticker to go with it. Now, honestly, I've not done anything with my stickers. All the Razer ones, um, my MSI sticker from my motherboard. Yeah, I, I don't have anywhere to place those because I don't do stickers anymore. Oh my god, this is like the size of my older cell phone. That's it? That's really surprising. Okay, um, okay, we are going to figure this out somehow, maybe later today, later today. I'm going to test it with like Black Desert Online and um, Persona 4 Golden. I do have like a large backlog of games to get into. Which I'm pro I'm obviously not gonna get into them all at once. I'm not that big of a gamer like the bigger streamers who basically make their living off of doing games. Um, I'm not at that level yet. I don't know if I'll ever be at that level, but I bought this for a reason, and obviously I bought this webcam for a reason too. And that's so <laughs> that's so I can hopefully start doing stuff that'll make me look cool. Did I just really say that? Yes, I did. All right, that's it for this half of the video. And next, join me as I build Lego Bobatton's carriage.